Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson, and our live coverage comes to you from League Two. It's Crawley Town, and they take on Stockport County. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, plenty of attacking width in this 4-3-3, but they'll need to get their midfield players to join the centre forward as much as possible. If not, he'll become isolated. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, if the players at the side of the diamond don't tuck in when they lose possession and the number 10 doesn't recover, the holding midfield player could be in for a really difficult game today. And this confrontation is underway. Nick Powell. Jurgensen. Callum Camps. Not showing good patience. Jurgensen. Well, there's been a boatload of speculation surrounding him ahead of the game. The rumours have been confirmed. He has elected to end his illustrious career at the end of this campaign. A massive loss for the club, Stuart. Well, it's a great shame because he's been a joy to watch over the years. But he's certainly going out at the top, which I think is a really good decision, Derek. Jurgensen, Nick Powell, Callum Camps. Well, it's such an eye catching series of passes and a useful cross, a very effective clearance. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, a goal update for us to know about. Let's hear more from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Sutton United. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. It's now 1-0 with 21 minutes played. What a fascinating matchup we have here today, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. Who can he pick out? He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Well, it might still work out for them. Wooten. Powell. Can they create something from here? 
Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Not the best clearance. Nick Powell. Will he find the net? And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. And over it comes. And there's an example of how to do it, dealing with a corner. Well, time for a scoring update because things are changing. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Bradford City. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 38 minutes on the clock. Thanks for the update, Alex. Quinones. Karim Budiaf. And swiftly ending that attack. See some progress with the ball at his feet. Had no interest in losing possession. That is that for the first half here. Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack. Yeah, their passing hasn't been great, but he just hasn't done enough to receive the ball in dangerous areas. He needs to be doing more in and around that penalty box. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Well, he's given us away. Quinones. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Must be! And keeping it out. So the corner played into the box. Really fine catch by the goalkeeper. Under a bit of pressure too. Wooten. Well, good run this. Now what can he do with it? Camps. Powell has it. And moving the ball nicely. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. Time for a change, then. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. Retaining possession proving difficult. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Toure. 
Jurgensen. Just the challenge that was required. 20 minutes remaining. Akram Afif. Now well, they've lost possession of the ball. Powell. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. A fine reading of the situation. Now, I believe changing circumstances in one of the other games. Alex Scott will tell us more. It's another goal for Sutton United. They're now behind by one with 76 minutes played. The fans are enjoying what they're seeing here today, Derek. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Opportunity here. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. And they will make the change now. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Callum Camps. Powell has it. And a fine tackle. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go. And just one goal between them. Fraser Horsfall. Powell has it. Madden. Powell has it. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Well, still time for them to level it. This could square the game, but no, thanks to the... And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.